What's good, YouTube? It's your boy back with another video, man. And today, 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 I am going over my top five Heisman Trophy contenders going into week 11. Now, this was a hard list to make. I had to narrow it down to five people that's gonna that has a chance of winning the Heisman Trophy going into week 11. But I did narrow it down, and don't judge me in the comments because it's 100% my opinion. But let me know down below on your thoughts like uh, of where I put these uh, people at like let me know if y'all think they should be there if y'all think they should be higher up but yeah just let me know but before we get into this video if y'all can leave a like comment and subscribe for me we just hit 2k so I appreciate every single one of you that supports me and subscribe watches all my videos so yeah I appreciate y'all man I just want to keep on growing and growing and get as big as I can because I want to have a big sports community I want to be able to talk to y'all about the games just just make any type of sports video and y'all i can just interact with y'all but yeah i hope y'all boys enjoyed this video and let's just get right into it so for number five we got michigan's running back his name is blake karum i don't know if i'm saying his last name right but if i if i'm not i apologize but he's michigan's uh michigan's running back like i said and he's doing really really good this season i mean he's probably one of the top three running backs in the whole college right now which is kind of nice to see a running back in the heisman contender race because i just feel like the heisman trophy just turned into the battle of the quarterbacks because they're just quarterbacks and quarterbacks and quarterbacks just winning it every every single year. I mean, I, I know like some wide receivers and running backs won in the past, but I just feel like it turned into a QB race, and I'm and I'm kind of glad to see that a running back has a chance to win it. Now he's only five eight and two hundred and ten pounds, but he's a junior. But yes, I said he is. 5'8". He's a really, really short running back, but I'm telling you, don't let that fool you. This man is a beast. Now, for his stats, he's got 199 attempts. He's got 1,187 yards. He's got 16 touchdowns, and he averages 6 yards per carry. Now, that's really good stats for a running back, but I feel like he deserves a spot number five. I, I, I was going to put him maybe four or three, but I feel like these players above him just has a better chance of winning because how they're doing right now. But yeah, I think number five is a really good spot for him. But next up, we got number 13. He's USC's quarterback, and his name is Caleb Williams. Now, if y'all watch college football, y'all got to know about Caleb Williams. He went to Oklahoma his first, I think, maybe one or two years, and then his head coach or something or offensive the coordinator left to go to USC and he followed him and that was probably the best choice he's ever made because him with Oklahoma he was not doing good I mean they still had that one quarterback I forgot his name Spencer Rattler or something they still had him there so it was kind of both of them quarterbacks and it was not looking good so this was the best choice he's made now he's a decent sized quarterback he's 6'1 and 215 pounds and he's only a sophomore his stats are looking really good for this season he got 2742 yards which he's uh, which he's 11th in and then he's got 28 touchdowns he's tied third he's got one interception which he's tied at first place and then his QBR is 85.4, which he's in ninth. Which I feel like that one interception is a stat that pops out the most. I mean, I think there's a couple other quarterbacks that has only one interception, but I'm gonna get more into that with the players I'm gonna I'm gonna say later. But I feel like he deserves a spot at number four. I was thinking about maybe three, but he's only a sophomore, so I feel like if he don't win it this year, he's definitely gonna win it before he graduates. Now coming in at number three, we got CJ Stroud he's Ohio State's quarterback now this was a tough tough decision I had to make because I feel like he should be at number two or three but I feel like the player at number two just has a little bit overall advantage over him now he's a pretty big quarterback he's 6'3 218 pounds and he's only a junior which his stats is looking really good for this season he's got 2453 yards which he's 20th in He's got 29 touchdowns. He's uh, second in that. He's got four interceptions. He's tied 19th. And then his QBR is 91.1, and he is first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Ohio State is number two right now. I feel like C.J. Stroud is a really, really good quarterback, and he deserves a spot at number three or two. 
But I just feel like Ohio State's team doesn't really deserve to be at number two because they almost lost to a team that was one and seven last week, which it was like only 21 to seven, which they should be beating them maybe by maybe like 30 to 40 points. But this is not about the team. It's about the player. So I feel like number three is a really good spot for him. So I'm going to keep him here. So coming in at number two, y'all know who it is. We got number five, Jaden Daniels, and he is LSU's quarterback. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with this man in LSU, they, they, they're they doing a tremendous job, man. I mean, they lost their first game to FSU, and it was a heartbreaking loss. They got their extra point block at the end of the game, and they lost by one point. But ever since then, people have been saying that, Oh, their coach Brian Kelly sucks. Jaden Daniels is not going to be able to win. And then after that, they they came back and they're a number seventh ranked team, and they just came off a win off Alabama. Which shout out to LSU and their fans, man. Y'all are doing really, really good. And no, I cannot hate on y'all. I'm supporting y'all, man. I hope y'all go all the way. But uh, their quarterback Jaden Daniels, I'm telling you, he's he's probably top three quarterbacks in college right now. And if y'all watch college football y'all cannot tell me that he's not playing like the top three quarterbacks in college right now now he's a good size quarterback he's kind of like cj strouds he's 6'3 200 pounds and he's a junior now let's look at his stats for the season he's got 1994 yards he's tied 56 in he's got 14 touchdowns which he's tied 53rd He's only got one interception, which he's tied first with Caleb Williams. And his QBR is 80.8, and he's 12. Now, I know he has less yards than the other quarterbacks that's below him. But if anybody if, if anybody's watching this and they kept up with Jaden Williams, they would know. I mean, they would just know for sure why I put him at number two. I just feel like nobody can't stop him in this offense right now. I mean, he can hurt you on his feet and by throwing the ball. But shout out out to LSU fans one more time. I mean, y'all had a heartbreaking loss the first game. I didn't even think y'all was going to be good because I watched that game and I was like, dang, bro, the LSU's normally good, you know what I'm saying? But y'all came back and now y'all are like, I think if I'm not mistaken, y'all are ranked number seven. But now for number one, y'all already know who it is. We got Tennessee's quarterback, Hendon Hooker. Even though they just came off a tough loss against Georgia, I still feel like Hendon Hooker is the best quarterback back in college right now i mean it was literally the best offense against the best defense it was a good game i thought i thought tennessee was gonna put way more points up than they did but i still feel like hendon hooker's at number one i mean y'all cannot tell me that y'all don't think that hendon hooker's still at number one even though they just lost to georgia now hendon hooker's probably the biggest quarterback that i showed yet if i'm not mistaken he is sitting at six four 218 pounds and he is a senior now his stats for the season he's sitting at 2,533 yards he's 17th in that he has 21 touchdowns he's tied 17th also he's got two interceptions he's tied at seventh and his QBR is 89.1 and he is at number fifth and y'all are probably like whoa 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 his stats is not that good to be at number one now I'm telling y'all he definitely deserves to be where he is. I mean, if y'all watch college football, just, just comment down below if y'all agree with me if he's still at number one on winning the Heisman. I feel like he 100% is, and there's not even a chance that nobody else is going to win. And y'all are probably like, hold up, where's Bryce Young? So I just feel like Bryce Young was a contender earlier in the year, but ever since they lost him two games, I just feel like he kind of fell off of the race and I just feel like he's maybe top 10 still, but I don't think he's top five. But yeah, y'all boys, I'm finna start wrapping everything up right here. I hope y'all boys enjoyed. If y'all can leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. It helps me out a lot. And like I said earlier, we already hit 2K, so I appreciate y'all boys again for that. I just want to keep on growing. Next up, we got 3,000. But yeah, let me know, like I said, uh, what y'all's thoughts on like where's, where's everybody ranked at. If somebody should be higher, somebody should be lower, somebody that I missed that y'all think that, that, that should be there. But yeah, I hope y'all boys enjoy this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And amen, I'm out. Peace.